Hey everyone, with everyone wearing more masks these days, eventually you're gonna to have to deal with fogging up glasses. I'm Dr. Michael Nelson, and that's what we're talking about today. Good optometry morning. So if you're wearing glasses and a mask, your lenses can sometimes fog up and that makes it hard to see things. So as these ads show, that can be a real problem. Not only if you're a doctor, but more importantly for people like you. What if you're cutting your vegetables and you can't see what you want to cut? What if you're running a race and you mistake the finish line for a crime scene? This can be a problem. So whether it's your glasses or the oculars in your microscope or the lenses on your foropter, fogging up can be a problem. So today I'm going to share you a few tips on how to deal with that fogging and prevent that from happening. Make sure you stay to the end because at the end I'll have some entrepreneurial tips for those of you that might want to make some money. And if you like this type of video, make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment below. All right, so before we go any further, let's talk about what actually causes the fogging. So fogging occurs when your warm breath comes in contact with your cool glasses and that causes that warm air to condense on the surface. And that creates little microscopic beads of water. So now the important thing to know about lenses, most lenses are created to be a little bit what we call hydrophobic, which means when you pour water on them, it just beads up and rolls away. So it forms little beads. So when your breath comes in contact and it condenses on this lens, it forms little microscopic beads of water. And those beads of water, when light hits them, it's gonna randomly scatter that light into some type of pattern that makes this lens kind of opaque. And that's what fogging is. Okay. For most of us, wearing these masks is relatively new. But we have to remember, there's a group of people that have been wearing these masks for about a century, surgeons and they use microscopes and they wear glasses. So let's see what they have to say. In the annals of the Royal College of Surgery, there were three articles that I found about tips on how to prevent fogging when wearing a mask. So first tip, wear two masks. You put one mask on and then you take a second mask and you put it on top of that. Second, you take the mask and you put a little bit of tape inside, it could be double-sided or regular tape on the inside to help prevent airflow from coming up on the top part of the mask. Number three, there was a unique way to tie your mask when you put it on to create a better seal. Now I'm no surgeon, so I don't have any firsthand experience on any of this, these techniques and whether they work or don't work, but basically all of them are operating on a principle that you're creating a better seal at the top of your mask to prevent the airflow from coming up towards your glasses. And if you can get a better seal in some way, that's gonna reduce the amount of fogging. So if we just can create a better fit to prevent the air or stop breathing, you can minimize the amount of fogging. But is there anything that you can do to the lens itself to reduce fogging? In order to answer this, we need to go back to physics. Like I said before, the problem that creates the fogging is this hydrophobic surface that creates these little water beads on the surface of the lens. Now, if you can make a lens that's what we call hydrophilic, what will happen is that there will it will create a very thin uniform layer of fluid on the surface of the lens that will still be clear and that will allow light to penetrate through clearly. Look at four different ways that can make our lens more hydrophilic and reduce the amount of fogging. So suggestion number one is you're gonna take a little bit of dish soap and you're gonna put that on the lens and then you're gonna rub it around and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna rinse that off with water. And you're not gonna wipe it dry, we'll rinse both lenses here. And instead of wiping it dry, you're just gonna shake that dry. So we've got our glasses, and this is the lens that we've treated with this technique. So let's see how they work on our fogging machine. Do we get a improved or reduced fogging? I'm not sure we do. So another technique that we can do is one used by a lot of hockey players. So this technique is you take a little bit of shampoo or dish detergent and you put that on the surface of the lens, but instead of rinsing it off, what you do is you take your cloth and you wipe that clean. And so you rub and rub and rub and you get that to make a nice smooth surfactant effect on the lens to try to reduce fogging. So let's see how that techniques work. When we put it up against the fogger, are we still getting fogging? This is the lens treated, this is the lens not treated. Still looks like we're getting some fogging. So the third technique 
and I think this is the best one, is that you create a lens with an anti-reflection coating that is designed to increase that surfactant effect. So this particular lens, half of the lens is treated, half of it's not, and there's a two-step process to this lens. First, they make the lens with the coating, and then you take this cloth, with this, which is specially impregnated with a molecule that will help activate that coating. And you rub that on the lens, and that will make this lens to reduce the amount of fogging. So let's see how that works. And you'll notice that this one side, compared to the other, induces significantly less fogging. So that technique is great, but what happens if you're not planning on buying a new pair of lenses for your glasses? So I thought of a fourth idea. So what happens if you take your regular pair of lenses that are not coated with that special anti-fog treatment, and you take that cloth that's impregnated with that special molecule, and what if you just wipe it and activate that lens, that regular lens? Will that get you any anti-fogging effectiveness? So this is the lens that's not treated, this is the one that I just wiped, this is the one not treated, this is the one I just wiped. And it appears to me that you get a little bit of effectiveness, not as much as if you have the actual lens, but it might be a short-term solution that could help you out. So there's some tips on preventing fogging on your glasses. And as promised, here's a little business idea for someone in our industry. Why don't you make a lens coated with an anti-fog treatment that we can put on our oculars and on the back of the lens in the frobter. When you do, remember it was my idea, I'd love to see a prototype. And with that, have a great optometry day.